Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all? Happy winters. Yes, it's winter finally. I have been waiting for winters like literally forever. And finally it's here and I'm so happy. Now, this, I am not sure, but I believe this has to be the second video of the winter week series where we are celebrating the winters, we are celebrating the Christmas vibe. And you know, I think there is nothing that celebrates Christmas more than a good red lipstick and you know we talked about it on instagram and i have for you red lipsticks you know the ones that i bought recently the new ones and then i have some of the old ones so i just went through my stash i took out all my oldies and all my new ones and let's watch them let's get in the video let's go <laughs> decided is um i'm sitting here i'm barefaced and i will be doing barefaced watches because you know most of my viewers they like to see lipsticks on the bare skin you know rather than on a full face of makeup right so we're going to do that and what i've really planned is so these are the lipsticks that are old ones and you know some of these i know how they are you know i will just show you the swatches on the hands and um, if I like the formula, I know how they are. So if I am a fan of the formula, I will give you the lip swatch. If I know it's not that good of a formula, I will just skip it. Just give you a mini review of it. And the new ones we are going to try on the lips as well, right? And the ones that I love, like I, my top five favorite from the lot, I will be doing a reel on that, you know, with full face of makeup right so you will get an idea right so for that reel you have to wait until christmas right i think so yeah that's the plan let's do that right let's start off with my old ones so this is the old one cast stash and um, you know most of the lipsticks that happen to be red in my life are the ones that i either got for free or you know i thought they were the nude lipsticks and they actually turned out to be this color right <laughs> so that is that Right, so let me start off with the ones that I know that I really like. So this is Maybelline 9 to 5, uh, Weightless Matte Mousse Cheek and Lip Tint. I believe that is the name and this is that. And this is in the shade Brick Bloom. Now this is a very pretty shade and I really, really like this shade. Right, and um, I mean, let me, let me just give you a little swatch of it. So this is not like a true red, rich red color, you know, that very proper red color that usually is this is more like a brickish color which is very pretty and you know not everybody wants to go that bold with red sometimes so this is the type of color you would like to go with right and let's just put it on now so this is how it looks and as you can see this is not like very intense in your face kind of red it is pretty wearable you can wear it during the daytime and this does not transfer like mad okay it's not transfer proof but it wouldn't just go away once you are done drinking a cup of tea so i really like this one this has to be one of my faves huge recommendation let's move into number two so next up is a good true red and this one is from faces canada this is something like a fatalist matte lipstick something like that pretty matte and uh, this is like a true red okay and um you know what let me just swatch this for you over here so you can see this is like a pretty true red and you know, black me one against this. Let me give you a swatch. So yeah, you can clearly see this has a little bit of warm brown undertones and this one is like true red. Now this one, this face is Canada one, I have wore it time and time again in a lot of videos. You know, whenever I have to put a red lipstick, this one is what I go for all the time because that's the only good red lipstick that I had. But my problem with this lipstick is that this is very dry. You know, you have to tug and pull your lips to put this one. So that is a little downside of this. Nonetheless, the color is really pretty though. See, it is dry and it's winter now. So it definitely is very, very dry. Yeah, as I said, it's a pretty dry formula. And that is one reason why you just have to tug and pull it a lot. But it's very matte. Right, let it set for like a minute or two. Let's talk about other lipsticks and then we'll see the transfer thing for this one. Now, now I have three lipsticks from Sugar, and um, these are the three minis, right? Uh, I just got the mini ones. So these are number one, Brazen Raisin. 
brazen brazen and this is the matte lipstick then we have number 13 booed by nude this is supposed to be a nude color but yeah don't, it's not and then we have 14 teak mystique right so let's talk about these three together this formula from sugar is just not it this formula is very drying it's very matte it sticks to your lips it makes your lips dry i'm not a fan of this formula but i'm just giving you an example you know just in case you have these lipsticks it's a red color so if you want to try this you can try it so this one is number one brazen raisin let's do it over here brazen raisin so it's a it's a good maroon red right then we have wood by nude now this is not exactly a red but this has like a pinkier undertone to it but this is not like a true nude or true pink either it has like a pinkier tone to it so I don't know, this can sort of kind of qualify like a bold lip for winter. And then we have Teak Mystique. This is very similar to the first one. Again, a maroonish color. I don't know, like th this is not nude color. Who exactly told you this is nude color? I didn't, okay. So this is not the formula I would like to try on my lips because it's very drying. I do not like it. And this one is set, so let's see it. Yeah, it does transfer, but again, you know, there's nothing intense, so you can definitely give this one a try. These three from Sugar are just not it from my end, so yeah, I mean, just save your buck over there, do not buy these. Next up is, I have two lipsticks from NY Bay now, and this one is the Runway Collection. Um, this one is Coney Island Vibrant, and this one is Samantha's Charlotte's Perfect Night. This one again, this is the matte formula from N by Way, which I'm not a fan of. It's very drying, it's very intense. So I'm not gonna swatch this, but the color is pretty. I think it's a good true red and it's a very affordable one, right? So you can see it's pretty tomato red kind of a thing. Um, very matte formula though. It's very drying on the lip, but if you don't mind that, I would say you can try this one out. This one on the other hand is a little bit more wearable and this is, this is, Island Vibrant but the problem with both of these lipsticks is these are very streaky you have to layer them up a lot of times to make them pop right this one is more like a magenta maroon kind of color right so yeah a good true tomato red not that bad you know I kind of sort of like it it dries down matte it looks even prettier when it dries down. So I think I would kind of recommend you this one. You can try this one. It's pretty affordable. Um, it's not very matte and very drying on the lip, which is a saving grace. I really like the formulation. It's not that bad. So, you know, I would recommend it this to you more than the faces Canada Wali. So yeah, that is that. Now let's talk about some new ones. So I got one, two, three. I got quite a handful of new lipsticks. I wanted to try new formulas because I did know the ones that I have are not the best ones. So, yeah. Let's start off with the lip liner. I got this red lip liner. I don't have a red lip liner, but if you have to wear a good red lip, you have to have a red lip liner. So, I got this one from Swiss Beauty and this is in the shade 05 Hot Red and, you know, it was only for 45 rupees. Mind blowing, right? And this is how it looks. Now, um, honestly, this is not the best lip liner. It, it is a bit drying not like dry it's a dried kind of formula not very creamy you know the the one that i use from wet and wild the chestnut my staple lip liner that is very creamy it glides on really well you have to tug and pull kind of with this one just like the faces kind of lipstick but it isn't that bad right we'll try it out with some lipstick and we'll know better okay so now next one is from elf now i got this a while back but i haven't tried this in terms of lip swatches so i wanted to include in the new pile although i've done like a hand swatch of this but see this is in shade cherry and it's cherry it's really pretty this is how it swatches wow it's very creamy this is very similar to Actually, it's not similar to any of these. It's a different color. This looks very similar to this, the Faces Canada Wali, but this is true red and this has a little bit of pink maroon undertones to it. So it is a very different shade. So yeah, let's try it. Wow. Oh, wow. This is true cherry red. It's, it's bold, okay? It's nice. It's bold. It's very creamy. It glided on so well. It's not pulling my lips. It's not making my lips dry, right? I really like it. Yeah, I really like it, okay. 
So this one is nice. Next up, um, let's talk about an Indian brand, and this is Blue Heavens. Um, what is the powder matte lipstick? And this is in the shade Ruby Glow. Now I heard somewhere that this Ruby Glow shade is a dupe for Ruby Woo from Mac. And you know when you talk about red lipsticks, Ruby Woo is like the goddess, right? So I had to try the dupe for it, and this is how this lipstick looks. Um, yeah, let's just swatch it over here. A little drying, let's be honest, and it's very similar to this shade. Wow, I mean, I think these two shades are pretty similar. You know what? I'm just gonna wipe like a half side of this, and let's compare how these two look together. So let's do like a half and half. You know, it's different. This one is more maroon, pinky. This one is pretty, you know, cherry with a little bit of orange undertone. So this one is a different shade. So I'm just wiping it off. This shade, oh my god, it's amazing. If there has to be one true red that you need in your collection, it's this red because it's hot. It's really nice. Don't cut this. Mm. Next up, um, let's talk about another Indian brand. I have four lipsticks left now. Oh, let's do Maybelline then. So Maybelline Color Sensational is like the OG lipsticks. You know, if you have to talk about lipsticks, you have to talk about this Maybelline, Maybelline Color Sensational ones. And I got the red one. And you know, just look at the packaging. The packaging is so cute. And do you see that? Wow, it's cute. And this is in the shade 691 Rich Ruby. And I'm, I think this has to be very similar to the shade I'm wearing. So let's swatch it over here. Whoa. This is so creamy. This is my favorite lip formula. And these three, you can see in a row, they are very similar shades. Ooh, this glides on so nice. This one, again, is very pretty. I like this the most from the lot right now. This is the creamiest. And because this is the creamy formulation, of course, it's going to stay in your cups. It's going to, you know, stay on the cutlery. So that is the downside. But this formulation is the best formulation. I really love this one. Oh, I love it. Let's talk about Fla Beauty. Now this, oh my God, just look at this monstrosity. I just got this Fla lipstick key, Fla Beauty key lipstick from Nykaa at 50% off. And this is literally how I got this lipstick in such a bad packaging. And it was really bad, but you know what? Then I thought, let's just roll with it. So this one is in the shade Ruby Rouge number 110. Now, let me say this thing. If there is somebody who rocks a red lipstick and you know, you know, like, a red lipstick is supposedly uski pehchan, you know. Um, if you remember, you have seen Charlie's Angels, Drew Barrymore actually wore this very sexy red lipstick. And that is when people were like, oh my god, we want that Drew Barrymore wali red lipstick. She made that red, red lipstick popular. So Drew Barrymore ke brand se, I had to get a red lipstick. And this one is in the shade Ruby Rouge. Again, this is a very pretty ruby color. Ruby colors are... You know, these are the red colors, two red colors. So let me just swatch it over here. Wow. Again, this is very creamy, very similar toned. And you know what? I actually have a little opinions right now. Oh, I mean, this one actually retails for 700 something. The true MRP without any off and discounts. And honestly speaking, I see why this costs so much. The formulation... is just to die for and it's very glossy very creamy very glossy also there is this sort of like a nourishing texture to it like a lip balm oil infused kind of thing that makes it very comfortable on the lips i really like wearing this one it's really nourishing me yeah i really like this formula i think it it will be a part of my top five and we have two lipsticks left now and they're liquid lipsticks so we are done with the bullet ones. So if you can see, we have four very similar shades and I believe we have two more similar ones. So let's go with another ruby one. No, sorry, this is red carpet. So I think the ruby ones are over and this is Lacme. This is their forever matte in red carpet. And I am believing and hoping this is a different tone of a red. Let's swatch it over here. Hmm. Very similar to these. And the formulation, I swear, is very similar to the NY Bay lipsticks. You know, this Coney Island Vibrant that we did? No, this one. The formulation is very similar because it's not a true, it's, it's not a perfect formulation. It's very streaky. 
and yeah hmm oh okay let me say this the color is very vibrant and very nice i mean i really love love how this looks it's very bold Mm, and I think the color is very similar to this whole ruby range, very similar to that, like a true red color, you know. How did I say this? Like this is the true red color celebrities wear, you know, on awards and functions and red carpets. And I think the name red carpet actually goes very well. And, you know, it's a little, as I said, a little streaky. But this as a topper to another lipstick, you know, a lipstick that is very creamy and you think it will transfer everywhere, you know, so you just layer a red lipstick. This is a little too matte and drying. I can feel the madness. Do you see how matte it is? Wow. Wow. And the last one is from Insight and this is the matte lip ink. This one is in the shade Bloody Hell. Some really good things about this formulation. So let's see how it looks. Yes, their pigmentation is intense. You know, guys, I have some tea for you. <laughs> so we'll talk about that. Um, you know, can I just do like a half and half of this to see how they both compare? I like this applicator so much more than the normal dough foot applicator. I honestly like this one, the formula, so much better. Um, this one has a lot more red undertones to it. Once it sets down, you see a little bit of orange orangeness to it this one is more like true red with a little bit of pink maroon ish it's kind of touch to it so this is different like you see on the swatch although they look very similar but on lips they are different these are two different lipsticks and oh it's so lightweight you can hardly feel it let's see let's do a wear test okay like a yeah the lacme one this one did transfer this one didn't okay that's nice okay so let's talk about a little situation over here you can see one two three four five six lipsticks over here they are very similar this one is from elf this one is from um blue heavens this one is the maybelline one this one is Pla beauty this is lacme and this is insight now this one from elf is i believe 350 rupees this was from blue heavens i got for 95 rupees i think this is like 150 something it, it's like 150 from maybelline this is 299 this from face um Pla beauty it's 750 or 700 i believe this one from lacme is 295 and this one from insight is 110 rupees they are very similar shades right this is very similar shade these six lipsticks are very similar this one elf and maybelline are the most creamy ones from the lot and are on the affordable side right the very affordable ones that are very creamy the creamiest has to be the flower beauty i mean the formulation of this one is bomb but definitely it is a little bit on the pricier side right it's from ruby mold it's a pricier side lipstick lacme one is a good lipstick once it settles down but it's a little drying and it's very streaky as well and in comparison to that insight is a little bit more better you know the what i would recommend you personally you know what all of the lipsticks that i bought recently all of these six new lipsticks i just love each one of these so i will give you a swatch with full face of makeup for each six of these you know all these six the true reds yeah so just wait for the real right and yeah that's it for today's video you guys Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll meet you in the next video guys. Bye bye.